Hi, my friends, and welcome to Reiki with Albert. How are you all doing? I hope everybody's fine. I hope everybody's rested and feeling refreshed. Each day I feel so happy to share my healing abilities with you in all different forms and shapes. We are now focusing on many different aspects. Right now we have two, and this is the third one. So this is one we'll have once a week, and this is like um, a complete healing cycle. Just to heal with nothing. Well, we have crystals. Crystals is very powerful and Reiki. This is my, you can say my magic pouch or magic bag. You should always have something with your crystal. You can't wear this around, it will weigh you down. So pick a crystal. My crystal, my favorite crystal is um, clear quartz. This is smoky quartz too. And this is a cluster. The cluster, I have it here on my, um, <clears throat> this is a Reiki altar. Now you, this has to be programmed for being an altar. So basically this is a 3D we have a picture of what the altar looks like on top of glass. Then we have the crystals mounted on here permanently. Okay. They do fall off. And, you know, sometimes they, they when they protect, they explode. So we here, we have um, a sm uh, cluster quartz, clear quartz cluster. Th these stones are pretty expensive. I try to get um, raw, R-A-W. Uh, I try to avoid polish, but some stones only come in a polished state. So we have them here, okay. Um, some of them did pop off, I had to. But here is a combination of amethyst, uh, clear quartz. Uh, we have yet, yet um, angel stones or here as well. They don't like the, the blue ones. So it's, it's amethyst, angel stones. And um, so they're set in a, in a circular pattern then you have wands. This is very powerful, by the way. And this gets recharged with the sun. Now, this is this room. The sun is strong. All I have to do is open up the blind, the the um, the, uh, the sun blocking curtain that's blocked. There's actually two layers. Then we have this layer here. But what I wanted to show you here is that this room is very powerful because we have this on the walls as well. Mm -hmm. Well, the crystals having a wall are designed for program to protect and heal you, okay? You don't see them, but they're around the room. I just want to show you this. So, that's Reiki, okay? And then we also do the sh shaman. And we also do the other healing, too. The other ability healing. Which for uh, healing, uh, dating, relationship, woes. So, so for you, or those of you here are looking for that. I released two videos to the, today for that. And that adds to the third. So there's three videos on that so far. Healing love, healing breakups, and that cover breakup broke ups. Um, we're over, we're done. All that's negative. That covers all that. And this is at the end there's a powerful chant word that's said. It sends to your brain to help instill it in your mind. It's like I'm there with you. Okay? That's what's for. And then the other one is more shamanic. I had the, the hat on with the, with the real uh, blue jay um, bird feathers. I found those in the yard and because birds are always in my yard. So I have, we have the power of the bird in there. So that's a little different. Normally you don't say nothing in that. And that's mostly cleaning, cleaning you spiritually, getting anything negative off. There's also an egg involved in that too. I don't have no raw eggs, so I don't usually do it. And that's something I wouldn't do without a person in the room because that's powerful. The egg takes, the, if you do it right, the egg is supposed to capture whatever attached to you. Mm -hmm. Now, there's different religions and different practices the way that's done. So you take a raw organic egg, normally it's brown, and you start from the top of your head and you roll it all over your face you roll it all over your body, all body, legs, and everything right down. <clears throat> Take a glass of water, and you drop the egg in its shell in the glass of water. And you wait 15 minutes. If you see a shadow, that's what's attached to you. Now, that egg, you're supposed to throw, throw that egg in a four-way intersection. You know, four-way is cars going north, cars going left and right. That's the four-way. 
and you can't you can't go to that far intersection ever again because if you do you go wherever you drop off there it's gonna stay in that area and you will know, come back to you and you don't want that I know it's a very difficult situation now some people some religions they break the egg and they put it in the glass and then you see what comes up from it that's another way of doing it too but you have to get rid of that glass <laughs> You gotta throw it in the river or whatever it is <clears throat> they got nearby, but they have to get rid of it. You can't keep it. You can't just throw it in your dishwasher. No, and there's a purpose of that ritual. That's a powerful ritual to to do. I knew somebody that I was with, and she would always do it, and she taught me a lot about that ritual because it's 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 an, it has really nothing to do with Charmin. It's the other stuff. So, mm, yeah. I don't usually do it, but I did try it on myself to see if anything was attached in there. I don't have nothing attached. See, my my life and my career, I've seen a lot of things. If I tell you what I see and what I have experienced, a lot of you would be, you'd be scared. But, you know, hey, I was able to get rid of things. Because I've been in different people's houses, and they practice so many different things. And they, um, they get themselves into trouble with the Ouija board. Do not play with the Ouija board. I was in one woman's house and she played a Ouija board. And what I saw in her house would scare the living Dale house out of anybody. And I know what exists and what doesn't exist out there. So I'm not playing around. At least I'm powerful and I can protect myself. I'll never forget what I've seen. But now I know what's there and what really exists. She played with the board too much and, and got herself into trouble. So what that that entity or that creature was in the house. They can only pop out at a certain time. That three o'clock in the morning is the, the time when things happen. So watch these videos, get healed, get protected. Each video um, I did with all the begones, they had protection. And we also have a, a video for protection only. Watch that video, get protected. Protect yourself. Don't play with the Ouija board. Don't play with supernatural stuff. Be careful. If you live in a house that's haunted and you have a good spirit, that's it. Most most of the time, it's your family passed on and they're still watching and protect you. See, I can put you in a... There's a video on here. Uh, the ones before I had started the channel. It's um, a 9 by 16 It's like the vertical one. In that video, the um, I have a lavender mist. Lavender is very strong. Lavender, lavender oil, is very powerful. And as a mist... It can open up things that, if you're a visual, you could see. So the three entities in there, in one of the videos, I didn't even know until I played back and watched the video. So three spirits are there, mm -hmm. around me, in the video. Yeah. Now you want to look at it. But yes, the video is here on this channel. It's on under the, under the um, shorts. It should be there, or I might have it on there a full video. Mm -hmm. But. It's good because you see the eyes, you see, you see the face outline. So I take it as the family. Yeah. I'm the last of my family, by the way. I'm all right. I'm not depressed. I don't have depression. I don't have none of that. I don't say it's a bad thing, but I don't have none of it. I'm, a, I'm a different than most that you see on here. My, you could feel my power. I try to help everybody. I help. I don't care what you have because I can help heal you with everything. But I, I, I try to focus on. I'm helping you. And that's what I do. You know? Not everybody's going to be like me. You know, you, everybody's different. There's happy people. There's sad people. There's people that are that, that depressed. There's people, emotional the emotional wrecks. Um, um, you know, people, bipolar, schizophrenic. You know, it's funny. My two sisters, older sisters, were bipolar. My mother would always say, she couldn't understand why they act like that. I don't know, because I, I wasn't like that. My mother said I came out smiling when she had me. I said, wow, that's good. I didn't cry. <laughs> I came out smiling. Well, I guess I was happy to be born. But when I was 14, I was in a serious accident. And I was gone. I was pronounced dead. I was gone for 15 minutes. Because when I woke up, I saw a man standing. He said, we were trying to get you up. We couldn't, you were dead. So what happened to me? I crossed over. And I see what's over there where the body goes. Yeah, I saw the tunnel. I was in the tunnel. It was dark. And I saw the light and I saw him walking. 
towards it. Before I know, I was in the middle. It felt like I was in the middle of a river. And to my left, I see friends and family. And family, you know, those are passed on. Even the animals, too, are there. Waving like this and cheering me on. Then I go to this, it looks like a cave. And there I meet the supreme being. The being that oversees everything. He, and it sounds like a man's voice. He said, it's not your time. I said, are you sure? And I got sat back to my body. Ever since that experience, I am getting goosebumps now. I even talking about that stuff. I'll never forget. I remember all that. I mean, that bad when I was 14. So since then, what happened to me is I've been hit by, by lightning seven times. First, I was hit, struck by lightning in the other room in the back. It blew out the um, my surround sound amp. Went, mm -hmm. Second time, I was underneath the avocado tree. I was mowing alone and the lightning was coming down. I couldn't do nothing. And now as I could stand on the tree, it hit me. It, I could, let me describe it. It's like a white, like a, like a cloudy mist around you. And, every, and it, you don't, time stops. Every time it gets struck by lightning, that's how it feels. It's like you're in a different reality. So that happened, and then that happened again outside. So um, three here, um, and then most of the rest of them were on the West Coast. It happened a lot, because over there, they got a lot of rain. Then I had near mist drowning incidents too. Um, I could be swimming in the water. That's why we have undercurrent that takes you out like this. So you have to swim this way, not this way, because it could take you to swim out. You know, so one time I was swimming and I found myself weighing out in the middle of the ocean. There's no lifeguards. I'm on my own. I swam back. I gotta be careful. Once when I was small, it happened to me when I was small too. But then at that time I had a call off, right? I Maybe mean, my father couldn't reach me. Two lifeguards had to come and get me. I was young at the time, I was like six. That's why I gotta be careful out there. I know how to swim. I'm a good swimmer, but I ha you have to learn. You know, okay. It's it's tough out there. So my advice to all of you, don't play with the Ouija board. Okay? Don't play with it. It's not a toy. Even though in the United States, it's sold as a, as a toy. as a game. It's not a game. Don't look at it. Don't look at Don't watch the movie. There's a movie made about it. Don't watch that movie. Don't even think about stuff like that. There was somebody on TikTok. They, were, they had, had a made up one. With the yes and the no and some numbers. And it was and had a wand back and forth. Don't, all of that, that's dangerous. That's not to play around with. If you want to talk to somebody that passed away, you go seek a Reiki master, okay? All right. A shaman can take you into the upper world, okay? There's the upper, this present, and there's the lower world. I go to the upper world. And I was a shaman way before I did the Reiki. And I never knew. Because I would, I would just sit out there, close my eyes, and I go right into that world, which is green. I drew a picture too, a little drawing. I even show my Reiki master. But she didn't understand what, it was, what, the, what the pictures meant. Even a second making mass I showed, they didn't know what it was because they're not visual. She was a, a medium. She can see ghosts and stuff like that. He had the ability, he had his own ability. His ability is um, very powerful. He's like a, a master. He would be a master. He's been doing it a long time. But everybody is have their own. Now, I have 10 years doing Reiki and Charmin birth. My mother was very powerful, very powerful, very powerful, psychic, uh, clairvoyance, and, and all three of us kids have the same abilities. My two sisters, each one had their own ability. I can't tell you what I have because it's not good to talk about. It's, it's not a bad thing, but people don't need to know the, their destiny. Yeah. But now, helping you with these videos here, I my power is so strong now. I can help you. We're going to do more psychic Remove psychic um, blockages. I haven't done that here on this channel. There's no video on that here. We're going to do that soon. Okay, that's powerful, and you got to be psyched up to do it. Okay, so please, with this video here, I'm going to ground you. Take a deep breath. Again, again. Take a deep breath. Let's say, I want to be healed. I want to feel grounded. 
I want to feel good. I want to feel me again. And we have lavender spray. I make this. I have enough lavender to last a long time. Don't oh, trust me. That's my favorite scent. Look. You, you can spray it in your hair and comb out your hair. <laughs> you can spray it after you took a shower. Remember, this stuff protects you. So before you go to bed, spray it on you. Wear your crystals with you. Now, sometimes, uh, I don't want to scare you, but people get attacked at night. There'll be something pressing on you. Say the Lord's Prayer or call my name. Yeah. Because my power is strong to get whatever is on you off of you. Okay. Doctors would say it's something else, but I've had it happen to me many times. My grandmother's farm, uh, I forget how old I was. I think that was in the 80s. I was in the, the master room. My, my mother built a house. What, what, how, what happened is um, she built a house on top of the old house. So she kept the old house in the middle, in the new house, north and south of the house, okay? And then in the back had the original house. The original house fell apart. We're talking about the 1800s. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. my I'm I, my my um, grandparents, um, they're, they're native, <laughs> native uh, for South American, native Indian, mm -hmm. Appalachians. Okay. So they went to the islands. They went to Jamaica. They went to Cuba. They went to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico does a lot of descendants. Uh, they went to Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Because those islands. Columbus brought the slaves from the different countries. He brought, you know, and the French, you know, everybody got, that's why there's the different speaking islands. They speak French, they speak English, you know, they speak British, you know, so there's all different kind of cultures on the island. So, but the Indian population is pretty much gone. There's only a small number, not, not from India, I'm talking about from South America, Indian, Native Indians, because there were Native Indians, like the United States, Native Indians. Mm -hmm. all over. We have Native Indians in this state here too. Pretty much the whole state was all the same tribe. Okay, so each so this native, I believe this is what I believe that on this planet it was the native Indians first, then the rest of us came. Now I don't want to sound a little strange, but I believe everybody. Well, I shouldn't really say it, but let's let's put it off. Another time we'll talk about that. But right now I just want you to heal yourself and be healed and feel good. Here we have a bench, you know. I don't have. I have to. Um, I have to get something else to use one of the other uh, tripods so you can see me. Because normally I have to bend and do that video with the healing with the relationships. I have to bend to do it. And if this tripod is too short and it can't, you can't see me. So I want a little higher, a different angle. Or remember, I can use this this setup here. But each setup is different. So this setup is like I'm. I'm helping you. I'm healing you. Okay. This simulates you. If you were right here in front of me right now, you know, this is, this is, this is you. Mm -hmm. I can give you massages on your shoulder. I can hold your hand. I can do your wrist. And I can do your, your arms. I can do you. See, I'm up close to you right now. Not far away. I'm not down to the ground. I'm up close to you right now. I can heal you right now. Heal you. Send you healing. Use the, um, the Reiki symbols and words. Draw the symbols. I used to have the symbols on my hand. Some people say you shouldn't have the symbols. But everybody knows what the symbols are. I don't, you know, I don't have to have the symbols. I know what they are. They're, they're in the room. We have the uh, Reiki master, the first one that started it all. A picture of him on there, on the wall over there. Keep him in here. This room is very powerful. I've helped many people um, in person with Reiki. If anybody needs help, let, just contact me. My email's there. And there's going to be a charge. It won't be free. Because that's me helping. I can help you long distance. We can talk properly on... Um, uh, uh, you want to go to Facebook and do chat? You can do chat with that. And then you can donate to Ko Kofi. Mm -hmm. Or you can use PayPal, whichever one. Okay. So we have both. I have a little drive on Kofi here. Uh, we we'll have to get the singing bowls. I know times are tough. Those bowls are like 500 bucks. A lot of money. They were 
before we had the, vi the virus, they were expensive still. Uh, I don't have anything. I have a Tibetan bowl and stuff like that. But if you want me to do those things, you know, you can help contributing. You can get that. And the longer wands for the cellulite, I have the smaller one. The long ones, are they're not cheap. They're expensive. Yeah. But it's all there. I'm going to create um, an Amazon um, Al uh, Reiki with Albert wish list. And you, you guys can, if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way. But right now, I don't have that set up here. I just have the coffee set up. It's K-O-F-I. And I have the, the my um, enterprise, online enterprise network. That's the PayPal account. I'm not going to create multitude of different PayPals for different channels. It's, it's too much. It's, it gets too complicated. The coffee one, I can do it. But but when you so don donate on here, it goes to Reiki with Albert channel. And then we do have that set up that way. Each channel is different. Um, but that, that I do it with. Okay, so now you know what's going on. But again, hey, thanks for all you who have subscribed so far. And more videos to come, I'll get them out. But I do need downtime. If I'm going to completely heal you when I was doing the Be Gone's, I had to wait a few days. It take a lot of energy. I'm, I'm, I'm wintered. wintered um, sorry. Winded is the word. Because I'm giving you extra power. I'm, I'm, it knocks me out. Not like, you know, I'm not knocked out, I mean, but I'm, you know, I had to get rebuilt again. My energy. That's why I don't do too many of those videos. We've been doing, um, uh, we've been doing, uh, well, we've, when I wear the hat, we that ability is strong too, by the way. And then maybe do the other one too. And then there's a command at each video. So the three, the two videos, the videos that I do here helping healing you with your relationship issues, which which either is love or or breakups and everything that goes with that, that's new and we're gonna be doing more of those here. And at the, at the end of those videos, before the end, there's a powerful word that's sent to you. And the shaman, same thing, powerful world word is sent to you. So, which is like I said, it's different. They're both different. Okay. Now. You feel relaxed, you feel good, you feel happy, you feel great. If you're sad and you're unhappy, there's videos that can help you here. All to be gone, they're set up, no matter they're old, they're all right. These, what I'm doing now is a little different. So you can follow these. We'll have more new videos coming up. But this video, I want to sit down and talk to you a little bit. So, so this is what, because a lot of you ask me a lot of questions. And um, that's it. Uh, Every master is different. Everybody has their own way of doing things. So one might do it a different way. One might have it another way. Everybody has their own way of doing things. I have my way too. Okay. And we are taught uh, by my master, um, grandmaster, you know, um, no matter how you do Reiki, it's Reiki. But, you know, you still have to follow the, the procedures. But still, it, it's what you can do anything. You can you draw the symbols. You can use your hand. You can have it mentally in your head. And like that. And that's why I used to put the pictures, but it's not, it's not necessary. Because you don't see them, but they are around. They're on the wall. I had them in my living room. Every room has those pictures. With a crystal. Well, and in the living room as well. Anybody's house I go to, I put them up. Because you have to. Some, some houses I left them there. But it helps that person out because they need all the help they can get. But, but I took out that evilness out of the house. We have a video, to, a newer video on that to take the, remove the, the evil out with the drums. The drums are good, but some of you don't like the drums. I understand. The drums are powerful. We have to sing. The singing bowls are good. Um, that opens up your mind to a different aspect through all this healing, healing spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. Yeah. Then the other abilities. The shaman takes you into the, their world. Now, you could take use some nutmeg that'll help you with your head. Nutmeg, yes, nutmeg is be careful and poppy seeds. Um, that combination. If you want to go in, in hallucinated state, I don't do anything weird. Uh, I don't even have to do all that stuff. It just happens for me like that. I don't even have to, I always close my eyes and focus. I need the sun though. The sun is the sun. The sun from the west I use. I can use the sun from the 
from the east. Because at east, it comes this way. I just have to close my eye, open my third eye, and I can go into that other world and walk around. Yeah. Some people can see their spiritual guide on the other side. Now, I have a wolf. Everybody's going to have their own. You should have a spiritual guide. You should pick something. Whether it's an animal or a person that you can feel close. And when you go to that other world, that person, that animal or that person will appear and be there with you. And protect you over there. Okay? But um, it's all good. There's nothing to be scared of. As long as you practice good stuff. And be at peace. Okay? Some of you who live up in New England, like Connecticut and all the way up, they have... Um, uh, which white witch um, shops um, I've been in one of them I met the one of them, and she had dragon brood she said she had love potions and stuff like that she was a good witch she explained to about that because I never I never I could understand what it was about that store but she had all these little um lotion, these little magical things and she was explaining to me and she made her own soap out of lard and stuff like that yeah I don't know if she's still up there though but she was very friendly but up there, it's a little different up there. Because up there, most of that was founded in the um, early days of the pilgrims. Mm -hmm. Because when, because most everybody that's here in the United States came from Europe and different countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Indians were here. That's what I'm saying. The Indians were here. The Indians were in South America. The Indian was in the Caribbean islands. You see what I'm going with all that? I can help you long distance. I can help you open up on a help a woman. Let me tell you a story. A woman, she contacted me. And she had, um, uh, they told her she was going to have a hysterectomy because her um, her uterus was bleeding. And they told her that she had to have it taken out. And she didn't want to. She said, she said Albert, you got to help me. And I did. It took me three weeks, constantly on the phone with her every day, healing her, healing her, healing her. Eventually, it stopped. She didn't have to take no ultrasound. She was happy. But, you know, She's the one that had the thing in the house, too, by the way. I felt the presence in that place. It was very weird. Even though the place was white marble and very, and she had everything wide open. I think she should not be in the house. I got the, I got right, the next morning, I, I had my drum and my rattle with me. And we smoked the house with sage and get the thing out of the house. It never came back. I never seen it again. You could sleep in that house. But that's all built up of negative energy piled up in that house like that. That's why every house has to be cleansed. And you, you can get you can hire a Reiki master or you can have somebody come in and cleanse your house. I mean, you could do it yourself, but you have to be really grounded and really have to believe and clear out those corners in the house. I've been to a house that was built in 1600s and it was in a cemetery. Uh, this guy I was selling it. He said, hey, you want to live here? No, I'm not living in a cemetery. Yeah, well, the cemetery was built around it. It was actually somebody famous See up north, they 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 leave the it's an, they call it an antique house, and it had a spiral staircase. So I went up to the roof. I mean, I went up to the attic, and then the attic on the ceiling, it had the Wright brothers when they took their first flight. You you can't take it off that paper because it's stapled to the to the wood. Yeah, it's really old. Some of those places don't have no basement. We were in a house that was um, 1800s or over 100 years old. No basement, but you can feel there's something in the house. Now, when I was younger, I went to Europe. I went to London. And I went to a castle, uh, Westminster Abbey, I think it's called, in England there. And I walked in there, and I had to, I had to get out. I was starting to feel dizzy. There was something around the fireplace. I picked up a presence. But I was young then, you know. I didn't know. And I, I said, I, I tell my friends, I, hey, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. What's wrong? He looked faint. And I was picking up something. I had no protection on it. I had none of this on I didn't know at the time. Now I know. And my late mother, she revealed to me what I need to know. She, when she passed, she she passed in my arms. Her spirit filled the whole room up. It's like a white sparkling. I see the spirit. I see the, I felt different. I have her, her energy. So I have double the clairvoyancy, double the psychic abilities. I have everything that she had. I have that in me. Then I watch it go into the ceiling and disappear. And the shell of the body is left over here. 
So the person she was is gone. But she can always come back. One I used to suck doing the Reiki back in 2012. You know, when I used to go to the sessions, I could feel something tugging on my ear. The master said something would be always, you could feel a presence. Like it was heavy. Yeah. Then I became much more stronger. And when we were around our congregation, they, well, I mean, our Reiki frog, they, they, they say, oh, I can feel your power. You're like radiating. And the Reiki master, she'd be over it. And she could feel it too. Yeah, I feel it. it's strong. She was charging fifty dollars for the each session. I didn't have to pay because I was helping her create a site because I do that too. But you know, but she's I think she's still around. Yeah, I'm much stronger now than I was before. I walked into her if I walked into her shop today, she could feel it. It'd be like a glow. My my aurora is strong. I'm a strong presence. I was going in with my crystals on. <laughs> yeah, in my pouch. Sleep with this, have this nearby you all the time. This will protect you. And when the stones burst and crack, there was something that was going to attack you. These stones will protect you as long as you put, you program them. I taught you how to do it in many videos. We can do it again and teach you how to do it. But you, you got to learn how to do it. And when you grab a stone, you got to find out if that stone is good for you. You'll go like this. I think, let's see. Let me see. Now you go like this. You will rock. You would know if you go back and it's not for you. It's like this is good for, it's for you. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I feel good. Say that. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. So now you know who's your master. The Reiki master. And your shaman. And your mystical. And astral plane. All which wraps up into one. Now, when you go to sleep tonight, you'll feel good. You feel at ease. You feel at peace. Protect you with a 360 degree shield. I'll give you that for now. If I'm watching this video, protect you right now. And give you extra healing too.